If you're watching this video on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3D Game Man and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds for 3DGameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. This is a 7-inch tablet. This is a very clean looking box. There's a couple of pictures of the product on it along with some features about it. Now let me go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Oh and by the way, there are two security seals on this box. One on this side and another one on the other side. If either of these are broken, well be suspicious because it has probably been opened or refurbished or something along those lines. At the top is the tablet. Has some information here about it, some protective plastic. Here we have a quick start guide, the charging cable. This end gets connected into the tablet and this end either into the computer's USB port or the power adapter and this power adapter comes in two pieces this end which gets connected into the outlet just slides in here and there is protective plastic all around this as well first of all let me get these specifications out of the way it comes with a ti om ap4430 one gigahertz dual core processor the display type is a pls tft at seven inches also the resolution is 1024 by 600 now the glass on this isn't super glossy it's somewhere in the middle I can't say that I like these tablets to have really glossy screens and this one does not. Now this is the eight gigabyte model, but there is a 16 gigabyte model available. Now eight gigabytes might not sound like a lot and it really isn't if you're loading a lot of applications and large documents and certainly movies on this, you'll use it up really, really quickly. But remember that this has a micro SD slot and you can fit a micro SD card that is up to 64 gigabytes in size now they say 32 but reports are in that 64 will work on this I'm not sure I have not tested it but for sure you can put a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in this and that's fantastic because a lot of tablets this size do not give you that micro SD option also it comes with one gigabyte of RAM this tablet has two cameras a front facing camera and a rear facing camera the front facing camera is a V VGA camera it's nothing really super special but should be fine for video chat and that type of thing it's 640 by 480 at 30 frames per second if you're shooting video the rare camera is a 3 megapixel camera but actually it does take really good shots it's 1280 by 720 and again 30 frames per second on the right side at the top is the power button this is the volume rocker here's the IR blaster so you can control your audio video gear that's very neat at the top is a standard 3.5 millimeter jack microphone on the left side is a very cool micro SD slot and at the bottom are two speakers and this is the dock charging port. This has integrated Wi-Fi and it's compatible with 802.11a, b, g, and n networks. It also has a Bluetooth version 3.0. Now it comes with a two cell battery, but it should give you anywhere between five to eight hours of use, depending of course on what you are doing. And if you're wondering what sensors it comes with, well it has a number of them. An accelerometer, an ambient light sensor, digital compass, gyroscope, and proximity sensor the overall fit and finish and build quality on this tablet is quite nice it feels solid when you pick it up also it has a silver plastic back which looks quite nice but it really doesn't provide much grip now being a seven inch tablet it's going to be very comfortable to hold it's not as small as a smartphone and not as large as a 10 plus inch tablet in my opinion it's a perfect size now this is pretty much stock and what you'll see when you turn the tablet on it might vary from country to country though just a little bit 
At the home page, you'll find a number of different widgets, a weather widget showing you all kinds of information about the weather. If you click on it, you can get other information. You can add cities and so on and so forth. This is Samsung's own uh, video hub, music hub, game hub. There's also a reader's hub, access to YouTube, internet browser, which is unbelievably quick I found this very very nice uh, as a matter of fact this browser is a lot faster the stock browser than some other browsers that I've used on much much faster tablets Samsung's own Samsung apps which is pretty much the same as the Google Play Store uh, which which is here so I'm not quite sure what it did that exactly but you can use it if you prefer Here's S Suggest, uh, kind of like an app store again. Uh, their pick picks, I guess, different categories, games, and so on and so forth. And by the way, there are five different screens. One, two, three, four, five. Let me go back to the one to the left of the home. Email, S Planner, which is kind of like the Google Calendar on steroids, which is very nice actually. This calendar works extremely well. Dropbox, Smart Remote, this is Peel, as it's called, and you can control your audio video equipment, your TV, and so on and so forth with this. I have to say that I'm really impressed with this app. All I did was enter my local TV provider and my audio video gear and in a few steps it figured it all out. It shows the favorites which is pretty neat or the most popular shows in your area. Also you can sort by category and if you want to watch something you literally click on it and then say you know watch this on your TV. It will change the TV to that particular channel. Uh, also, you can you know watch sports and uh, customize things. Uh, also, you can turn everything off. You can add a new device uh, as well. You can add a new room. And they include Netflix. Now, let me see what else is in here. They have an alarm, all share play calculator. This is the camera contacts download. This is a shortcut to your download, which is neat. Dropbox, email, gallery, game, hub, Gmail, Google+, Internet, local maps, uh, memo. This is a place where you can leave memos. Messenger, music hub, music player, my files, navigation, again, Netflix. Uh, photo editor, I thought this was pretty neat. Tons of options here to edit photos. Playbooks, let me just see how this loads and how it looks. Very acceptable and certainly very readable. And the apps continue with Play Magazine, Play Movies, Play Store, Polaris Office, which is an excellent office package as well. They include Reader's Hub, S Planner, S Suggest, Samsung Apps. This is Google Search Settings, Smart Remote Talk, Video Hub, Video Maker, which is a great little program to create and edit your movies or videos. World Clock, YouTube, and Screen Saver. And as well, there is a whole bunch of different widgets. At the bottom, there is an up arrow. If you press this, it will pop a number of different items up you can also edit this and what is included in here at the bottom left is back home you can see the applications that are running and you can just swipe to get rid of them also this here is a snapshot where you can actually take a snapshot of what is on the screen and at the bottom right you can see the time and a few updates if you click on this though it gives you all kinds of information showing you the date the time Wi-Fi which you can enable or disable GPS sound screen rotation you can set it to a power saving mode notifications you can turn them on and off Bluetooth 
there's a driving mode and sync. It also shows you the network that you're connected to as well. It shows you the percent the battery that's left. You can adjust the screen brightness on the fly. You can also set it to an automatic settings. Click on this, you'll go into your settings. And down the bottom, it just shows you ongoing notifications and other notifications. Now let me launch Quadrant and see how fast this is. And the result is 2,642, which is actually just a bit above the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 inch. And let's see how YouTube performs when you're playing a video. No problem, you can fast forward. Pictures. Works All perfectly. Now let's find out how those two little teeny tiny speakers perform at the bottom. This is the music app and it's not too bad. Just play this. That's half volume. And that's full volume. Now let's see how long it takes to power on. Just hold down the power button. Now let's see how long it takes to power off. Just hold down the power button. This screen will pop up. You've got a number of different options here. Power off, flight mode, restart. You can also mute if you want to. Let's go ahead and power it off. There are faster and higher resolution 7-inch tablets on the market, but if you can get this on special, this thing has major bang for the buck. The big deal with this is it comes with Android 4, and now it doesn't come with Android 4.1 or 4.2, but who knows, Samsung might go ahead and update that a little bit later on. However, you can root it and you can put you know whatever you want on this and you could also have stock android on this if you root it as well possibly overclock it and so on and so forth but that is only if you root it what i'm saying is that you got a lot of options with this and you've got that micro sd slot which is fantastic because if you want to load up a lot of you know really large documents and movies and stuff you can do it and you're not limited to the internal memory and i mentioned before that you should be able to put a 64 gigabyte micro sd card in this i believe you can do it i haven't tried it as long as you format it fat 32 you should be okay but it's you know going to fit a 32 gigabyte micro sd card for sure you know what for a lot of people that is more than enough all things considered this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.